Welcome back to Beer Bros. Welcome back to Big. We are Big. running from the devil. We don't want to blow up and die and make the classic Sonic. Yeah, it sounds like a like a CRTV turning blowing on out. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like turning exploding. off the last time. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> I'll never forget the time I told my mom, hey, don't put the family TV in that tiny ass thing. It's going to break. And then what did she put it in? An oven? Like just like a tiny little shelf. And then she called me when I was at summer camp and she was like, guess what happened? And I was like, the TV fell out of the thing. And she was like, how did you know that? Mm. I told you not to do it. I told you. And I turned it on afterwards and it was like fucked up. Like like something popped inside. Ugh. A little man in a hat picks up a coat from inside, walks out, and he goes, it's 11. <laughs> it's 11. It's 11. It's quitting time. It's a living. It's 11. <clears throat> All right, sir, we're going to need you to identify which Stranger Things character <laughs> is inside this sealed envelope. It's 11. How did he know? <laughs> hey. Fuck you guys. The talent. <laughs> the fucking... The fucking uh, Mastodon, that's the fucking sink in the Splintstone's house. Mastodon. It's 11. <laughs> Did so I tell you that I scanned through that Power Rangers anniversary special episode? The good? Netflix one? Yes. Do you guys know about that one? I it's, saw it's that it's supposed existed. to be the end of the canonical story of all the. Uh, it's, supposed to, it's supposed to make a it, lot of 35 year olds cry, right? It's supposed Probably. to like it's supposed to like end the entire story arc of the Rangers, right? Negative. No, it's more of a tribute to to uh, uh, Jason uh, Trini. Oh, to Trini. Yeah, to Mighty Morphin. Fuck. Hey. Well, I mean, it's certainly a Mighty Morphin centered thing, but it's it's mostly like a hey everybody. It's mostly like a hey everybody. Remember Mighty Morphin? And I'm like, yes, I do. And it's like also. Shout outs to Twee Trang. She passed. And we're like, yep. But like, it seems like something I would write. I'm always taken aback when something comes out where I'm like, ooh, that was hacky. That feels like something I would write. Where it opens up with like a ranger getting aced out. When you say hacky, do you mean like it's like fan service-y? No. Uh, it's like I destroying mean destroying the expectation of what's expected? No. Nope. I literally mean something I would write, which is like taking something beloved from childhood and being like, all right, motherfuckers, episode one, they're dying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. that's me. I guess that's, I guess I can see what you mean by hack. I get it. Right. Like, but also if the same I were time, in charge of Power Rangers, that's exactly, that was, that was my idea for decades now, which was like, oh man, you hand me the franchise. Episode one, I'm having like the monsters come for these retired Rangers who are now like adults. You know what I mean? At yeah. their homes and shit. And uh, that's not exactly what happened in this special. But it was wild. The only reason I brought it up is because, you know, there were actual scenes in that little hour-long special of, like, Billy and Zach, now adults, arguing about whether or not it's, like, whose fault it is that one of, like, that treaty got aced. How did wow. she How did she go out in the show? Rita Blast. Rita just shoots her dead? Tommy gun, man. No. What? No, with, like, some sort of magic blast, yeah. Um, that's like the first scene too. on screen yeah she's like oh and they're like get up she, she like sacrifices herself for somebody and uh, damn and uh but like what does that like that yeah i expect that from this kind of thing what i didn't expect was for to have like multiple scenes where these you know now seasoned actors are like showing off their acting chops being like listen it was nothing you could have done i'm like wow guys yeah good job you know well, cause that's the other thing is like, you're also the guy who like, if, if there was a Ghostbuster movie and it turned out that it was like the sort of like uneventful years of Venkman's life between like now and then where uh -huh. it's like not really an action movie. Right. Like, I feel like you'd be like sick. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Like, I will I, definitely write like a the, character the, piece. the movie that's like Oscar visiting Peter. Yeah. And he's like, so how's your mom? And he's like, she doesn't want to talk to me. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I'll write the shit out of that. A, mo a movie, a whole movie about like two minutes of Ghostbusters Afterlife. <laughs> it's my dinner with Vank. Yeah. I'll write the shit out of that. I remember I watched some movie when I was like 15 years old that was like Paul McCartney and John Lennon visiting each other. Yeah. In between the time when the Beatles broke yes, up and yes. he died. And they're like, you want to be friends? <laughs> 
And I was like, I love the Beatles. It's the good stuff, man. Yeah. It's like a fictional film. It's like a fictionalized movie. Well, this is a very cool idea for a level. I love it. It's also reminded me very specifically of Oil Ocean and Sky. I can see it. Sky Attack Zone. Sky Sanctuary. Sky, no. Uh, the, one, uh, the one that's like. Sad Chicken level. Sad Chicken level. The one that's like falling <laughs> apart. <laughs> yeah. And it's like maybe the last level of Sonic 3 or Sonic and Knuckles. That's the last. Like, <laughs> it's toward the end of Sonic 2. I don't know what he's about. He's like riding on a plane. Mm -hmm. Oil Ocean is this one. Right. But, but there's the one that I'm talking about from Sonic 3 that's like similar to Oil Ocean, kind of, and it has like the little things where you break the Fuck. doors that open. Oh, well, that's all I wrote, guys. You break the little snail that opens the doors. You did it. Break the little snail. That sounds like Marble Garden, maybe? It's like called like Sky something. Sky remember. Sanctuary is in, in Sonic 3. Uh, I gotta get to the bottom of it. Oh, I don't all have right. my phone. Never mind. It's not Sky. I don't think it's Sky Sanctuary. It's the one where, like, the ship takes off at the end of it. And you're, like, running with the ship. Launch base. Yeah, like, launch launch base. That's the one. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Yep. And they hit you with that unnecessarily Ow! farty bass. I love it. They hit with that beer, 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 beer. Ow. Yeah, that's exactly Ow. right. Sounds like Bubble Guts the bass, go, you know? Go, yeah. go, 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 The go. fucking Sega Genesis go sound. Dun, 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 dun. Were that's you exactly controlling dun, 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 dun. that? No. Oh, okay. That's exactly what I'm talking about. It's Oil Ocean and Launch Base mixed together. I can see the Oil Ocean for sure. That's such a funny way to fall from an air crash. Like an in mid-air collision. If I ever, like, fall out of a plane, and I know, I'm, you know, that's the end for me. God damn it. I'll try and remember to do this. Did you know there's some flight attendant who, like, was in a plane that crashed out of the sky and she just lived? What the fuck? Isn't that crazy? Oh, yeah, the most unlucky, like, wait, no. What? I'm, what? I'm thinking about something, someone she, else. She, like, doesn't remember crashing, and so she still works as a flight attendant. She's like, I'm fine. I got yeah. no drama. I don't yeah. remember shit. Really? Do you think she jumped right before the plane hit the ground? <laughs> I think she got, she was just in a weird part of the plane. She was in the black box. I just think she got like, as it was whipping around through the air, she just got like wedged in a weird place where she didn't die. You know what? I don't, I don't know if it's the same one. I don't think so. But this, this lady that her parachute failed. <gasps> oh! Not she so landed super. In on a, a glass, through the glass ceiling, right? In a, no, in a colony of fire ants. <gasps> and they like bit her so much, her like heart started beating again. Oh. So she's involved in some sort of Final Destination she's fuckery. She's swamping. Yeah. yeah. She like, somebody was like, you have to get out of this restaurant right now. And then she happened to follow them. And and like, she's part of some sort of death list. Maybe, she, what's the opposite of Final De Destination? Like when God uh, just wants to like save your life. Uh, uh, initial departure point. Yeah. <laughs> initial, initial D. Initial D. Initial <laughs> D. You have to drive to the hospital as fast I'm as you can. Running in the 90s. It's the that's what the thing that I want to do. What's the name of this game? I'm just running in the 90s. My man said running, running. <coughs> Sorry about that, you guys. As, as a Southern California native, I can apologize for the way that all singers sang for like 10 years in all pop punk bands. Mm. I'll, I'll, I'll apologize on behalf of all of us here in SoCal. Where are you? Are they even from Southern California? They must be. I don't know if they are. Are we still in 90s? Wait, 90s, 2000s, and today? Like, are we still 30 years of today? Ah, yeah. I see. A hundred percent, we are. Kidding We're me? We're never gonna add another decade of music. No, they no. covered their bases. They said and today. Yeah, and today. Always, it's always Shout today. Shout to the at t logo. I saw. It <laughs> also, it looked like the Touchstone logo a little bit. Do you guys yeah. remember Singular? Yes. Wireless. Yes. Yeah. What was up with that? Just want a little orange man on your phone. Huh? They were like, AT and T is yeah. singular now, and we were like, what? And they're like, Gold just kidding. Cap. Yo, are we in India for once? I'm trying to figure out what oh, this yeah, is even. Yeah, Mayan? Because yeah, yeah. when I hear golden capital, like maybe like El Dorado, I, I think Mesoamerican. You know, you're right. Looking at the temple in the back, I think you're probably right. Oh yeah, and they're I didn't like kind of Incan. Yep. Or like Mayan, or like the the kind of Andean mountains over there. So there you go. That's what I was talking about. Like I would love to, like this is. I've never seen anything like this. No, this is good. Yeah. No, 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 no. Because they they no. hit Greek Grecian shit before like 
I don't know. They never said it. But, like, remember old Marble Garden Zone? Yeah. Both the first and the yeah. third games? That always seemed Greek to me. I mean, me. bro, Marble. Like, right. Yeah. Right. And also, but also, what about... Yeah! Yeah! Oh, that's different, though. You know that's different. That's different. Yeah. Do you think that's Mesoamerican, though? It certainly evokes that. There's a whole fucking pyramid there. That's true. And it's like that. It's like ziggurati. Could it be Mesopotamian? <gasps> you can't. Don't ever bring up the ziggurati. They're always listening. Could it be Mesopotamian? Like the, the previous one? This doesn't look Mesopotamian. No, the, the, the other one. The Knuckles one. It was too jungly. The last one? My yeah, name's yeah, Knuckles. I'm from like Mesopotamia. A, <laughs> hey, man. The was too... Like, it just seemed too... Um, too wet and green, you know. Yeah, you're right. I think I think maybe this is a follow up to that. I think this might not be a wholly original environment in Sonic. I'll take it still though. I like it. Give me a spirit of aviation themed level. So what, like biplanes, Wright Brothers type stuff? Like an airfield, you know, like a like I a. I feel like, like that's like, been done. Like the Rocketeer vibes. Huh. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Wait a minute. Hal you Jordan just, vibes. You, you just inspired me though. I would love like a. Greatest Generation, Gilded Age, Art Deco-ish. Oh, like the Great Gatsby kind of looking. Yes. Yeah. That, anything from Jazz like age. the 19th. Yes. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. Give me a Great Depression zone. <laughs> I, we're we're trying Bowl. to talk about the same thing. The Dust Bowl. Oh, bro. bro. Yeah. What if Act 1 is the Gilded Age and Act 2 is the Depression? <laughs> yes. That's a great idea. And the enemies are like business robots jumping out of skyscrapers. like. Oh, my you. God. So what would you call it? Uh, roaring, roaring twenty zone. Uh, roaring hills. Yeah, like roaring. What's the? What are the? It's pumpkin hills too, isn't it? I was gonna say <gasps> roaring. Oh, the shit to me. Roaring island. Roaring, roaring hills. Roaring jazz. Roaring jazz zone. Mm. Need like a location, you know. Jazz panic. Jazz panic zone. That's very like Japanese. Because the panic could refer to the second act. You know what I mean? Yeah. Damn, that'd be cool. Gilded. Gilded is too nice of a word for something. It's too uh, fancy. We can, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. That ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. Gilded. Is Gilded Gates too much? Gilded. Hmm. Gilded Garden? It's not a garden. It's it's, Urba it's Urbania. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's a city. West Egg Zone. The West Egg? Yeah. Like Gatsby? Mm. No? Too, too... All the rings are just red. Too in literary. The, in too levels. inside baseball. All, all, all the rings are like flashing and green. And they're Man. really far away. Uh. That'd be so cool. <laughs> like, I would love... Yeah, I want a Sonic level that looks like Batman the Animated Series. Gotham. Like, you know? Like, yeah, like Sonic Noir vibes. Oh! Whole level's black and white. He said, yeah. oh, oh, oh. You know, the one, the thing I like about Batman's Gotham that I that I wish was in all the Gothams, but that's really only from really the Burton ones, is the feature of the city that there's like giant people everywhere. I think that's like the coolest thing. Oh, you mean the statues? Yeah, they're like, I'm just, like, what? But it's like buildings. It's like, yeah, they all yeah. look like they're about to strike with a big hammer. Yeah, like that's so cool. Yeah, like human gargoyles. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Evocative. For sure. Yeah. It's like such a weird, like idea, but like so cool. Like maybe ominous. It's maybe it's because you're supersonic, but I'm really liking this level. Oh my god, dude! The summer sale is on. He took them. He took them all. That pig, women, the children. <laughs> Was that a Star Wars Episode Two Attack of the Clones joke? <laughs> yeah. Check it out. Oh, I do it awesome. on the daily. I drive these piggies crazy. They treat me really nicely. I want to buy punch me you. all these ringos. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little out of control there, buddy. Hey, uh, can I get a back brace or, or a high back chair? Have you seen my rascal? <laughs> Michael Jackson. <laughs> Hooter! <laughs> That's Hooter right there. That's Max Rebo with no keyboard. I love Hooter. <gasps> oh, hack knuckles! knuckles yeah. I'm, I'm about so to ready. Act all knuckles up in here. How do you think Knuckles is black? <laughs> <laughs> but like, what do you think his his name's what, Knuckles? What do you think his vibe is? Like, uh, should I be? 
Should I be nice to Knuckles? Should he? Should, am I, should I be scared of Knuckles? Is he like a sweetie? Does, is he like a mean guy with a heart of gold? Is he yes. a jock? I think the last one. <sighs> I think he's not as tough as he thinks. I think he's tough. Not as tough as he thinks he is. If you had to, and I think him, he's got a big heart. If he was an X Man, mm -hmm. he would be. Not Wolverine, because Wolverine is as tough as he thinks he is. Wolverine uh, is not like any Sonic the Hedgehog character. I'm gonna uh, say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know who he is? Damn. He's John Proudstar. I, dude, what the fuck are we talking about, man? <laughs> John Proudstar. He's that John Proudstar. That's like a that's like a very good answer, but <gasps> it's also like too inside baseball for the average. Joke. You asked. You, you, no, you're right. I, I agree. I'm like, who's a tough guy, but not as tough as they think they are and has a big heart? Answer is John Pornstar. That's him. Who's John now known as... John Pornstar? Yeah, John Pornstar? John Pornstar. No, no John Proudstar, bro. Like, wow. So, What's he called now? Warpath? No, because his, his brother's Warpath. Oh, his brother's back. But is he called Thunder... I guess he's called Thunderbird. Thunderbird, yeah. That that's right. Boy I, thought he changed, I know he changed his costume. I don't know if he changed his name. How about Banshee? Banshee, he's not a tough guy. Banshee's no. the main guy that's like, you want to have some popcorn with me and read a book? Like, What about his reformed element? Huh? Like, you know how he's like reformed? Uh -huh. like Knuckles is like... He, oh, I thought you were talking about Banshee. Reformed? No, no, like, well, I guess technically Banshee was reformed. Um, yeah, I, I, is he? Okay, wait, what do you mean reformed Knuckles? Like, Knuckles was like a bad boy. And now he's I reformed. I thought you were like, he's a born again Christian. I, I don't think he ever was a bad boy. He was first, working with Robo he was, he was That's because he got though. lied to. Like, that's what I mean. It's not, he's that's bad. not a bad boy. That's literally just an idiot. He's, a, he's kind of a dummy, you know? Okay, but like, that's like half the brotherhood of evil mutants. Not true. Uh, You're telling me like, the blob is like a political... No, but he's a greedy asshole who was in it for the power and the money. That's fair, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. Uh... Yeah, Knuckles is, he strikes me as not that bright, but not an idiot. But then again, like, he's been a bit flanderized over the years. He's not, he's not an X-Man, but to <laughs> he me. Sh he should be. No, to me, Knuckles is, is, is Jason Todd. <sighs> I'll give you that. Uh, I don't fully know how to express it, but that's what he said. And it's not because he's red. I think the biggest difference is that Knuckles wants to and knows how to take time to enjoy himself. Jason just will never fucking turn off the ass. You know what I mean? Yeah. Jason's a real ass. Jason's a real asshole. That's true. He like kills people. <laughs> Knuckles is like, because like you, you you see shots of Knuckles like chilling on the beach. Do you think Knuckles you know? like kills people? Do you think he like does what needs to be done sometimes? For the Master Emerald? Dude, I think he yeah. would. I That's what I'm saying. Would. Like, you think you just like put a knife in your heart if you like went against the sanctity of the... Dude, he had big titty Rouge the Bat was like, Hey there, big boy. And he was like, I don't care. The Chaos Emeralds. Right. But and then he the, killed the her? Master Emerald. <laughs> no, but like, that's the thing is that like, I, I the point is, is that he, he gave up sex for it. Yeah. yeah like, okay. That's how much he like, he's just like, they are life. They are love. Fuck everything else. Yeah. I will kill anyone who touches the Master so Emerald. So he's kind of a, he's kind of a fanatic. Yeah. Yeah. But like in that way, like kind of Link is too, right? Link is a blank slate to me. Like, who knows? He's about the Sheikah slate, bro. Yeah, I am. That was weak, did Knuckles. You, did you see a Shoryuken right yeah, there? Yeah, that was a weak Shoryu. It was a real weak startup. There's a light Shoryu. Still. <laughs> are you saying it's too slow to be used as a reversal? Like, what are you gonna, who are you going to hit with that? People jumping in, I guess. I can hit you with a heavy punch, and you'd be, it'd be out before that Shoryuken. <laughs> oh! Dude! He was like, fuck this door. Man, I love Knuckles. It's a heavy punch? Knuckles right. actually is my favorite Sonic character. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> That's him hearing me say that he's my favorite. Why was he no, happy no. right there? Because he punched the door, man. He got in. It looked like whatever was supposed to be in there was missing. I'm not going to lie. It looked like he knew what was going to be in there, and he's glad that he... Guys, look at my emeralds. Wait, what oh, does this mean? Oh, what, what's happening? Oh, fuck. He, is this a flashback? He took all the emeralds. He just hit him with a car, dude. Sonic, what do we do? <laughs> he's kind of asking for it. He's just like throwing them out. Yeah, that's like the guy that like counts his money in public. Don't do that. <laughs> I've got two thousand dollars in cash. One hundred. <laughs> two hundred. <laughs> Whoopsies. Ah, ah, ah. Dropped it all <laughs> on the street. Whoopsies. <laughs> Look at all this money that you don't have. Oh Curious. man, I sure do have weak arms. Look at my oh. It, I'll just turn my back to this open entrance. <laughs> 
Why, hello, sir. How are you today? Is that a gun? I'd give you some, but then I'd have to hear it from my lawyer. Come, come over here. Come close. Come down this alley where we can get some peace and quiet, stranger. <laughs> Help me count my money in this, uh, this storage shed. My, you have big, strong arms. <laughs> Will you hold my money while I count it, please? What is, there is a bit like that where it's like, well, if you just hit me right here on the top of the head, uh, I'll pass right out. I think that's Family Guy. That sounds like Family Guy. Oh. Did you guys ever see that old uh, SNL sketch with uh, Dana Carvey where he's, uh, uh, he is, he's the guy who, he's like annoyingly open, uh, gaseous wound guy at the party. Oh, right. He has a, he, ga a gaseous, a gaping wound? Gaping wound, yeah. He shows up and everyone's like, oh my god! I think I remember he's, that. Like, his head is like realistically bleeding. And That's he's like, such a hey guys, what's bit. going on? He's a massive like, head wound. It's just bleeding all over the place. Hey guys. Did you guys, did, we talk, that. did we talk about Dana Carvey on Beard Bros already about uh, Master of Disguise? And how it's actually good? No. How he was dressed as the turtle from the turtle club when he found out about 9-11 and the whole cast had yeah, to like do I a moment of silence i think i heard about that and he was like in it he was dressed yeah he was like there and he was like in the moment of silence but he was dressed in the turtle club outfit that makes me so weird he was like turtle turtle no he wasn't no he wasn't but our friend lisa foils of the show she was in that movie really dvd she didn't, make the cut. she didn't make the cut. She didn't make the cut? She, filmed, she didn't make the cut. She filmed a roll, didn't make the cut. What Cutting the room floor. Cutting room floor. She's in the DVD bonus features. Wow. How are you going to cut Lisa Foyles out of your movie? Yeah, it's especially at that point, she was like the Nickelodeon star. She was like in her prime. And, and it's messed up. Yeah. I learned from Hot Ones that three guys from NSYNC were going to be Jedi in Attack of the Clones. I also learned that too, which and that, I think is interesting. Yeah, and that they edited them out. So they were there. They were. They, they there's were, footage of yeah of J C Chris and Joey. He called out Rick McCallum, the producer of Star Wars, <laughs> and was like, re he's like, release. Yeah, he was cut. like, give us the footage, bro. Give we us the footage. We know you have it. That's like wow. Ed Sheeran in Game of Thrones. He was in it though. He was really on the that screen. That really happened. Yeah. Yeah. He really. Everybody was like, ew. Yeah. <laughs> Ick. Can someone explain that to me? Why? What? Why does everyone hate Ed Sheeran so much? It's, it, okay. It's no. not. It's not that. I'll tell you why it's annoying when that type of thing happens. Uh -huh. It's fucking distracting. Yeah. Like, like okay. have you seen Star Wars? Yeah, but nobody's no Mandalorian season three. No. <laughs> no, I have not. You're I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm in a I'm in a book club. I'm in a book club about the other Star Wars books. Okay. Oh. Uh. I don't want to know. You, if you think it's bad at Game of Thrones, you don't know nothing, well, dude. At, okay, but the thing about the thing, I think you're talking about Lizzo. And, I'm talking about yeah. Yeah, I think you're talking about Lizzo and Jack Black. Yes, which is very weird. And mm -hmm. it's weird, <laughs> but they're like the guest stars of the episode. Like they talk, they have like the, things happen. Ed Sheeran is like not in the show. He's like in the background of a shot, right? And. It's, and everyone lost their minds? It's just fucking distracting because when you see Ed Sheeran on screen, it's Ed Sheeran. Like, you can't, like, stay immersed in, in like, a song of ice and fire. Yeah. When Ed Sheeran is just, like, a dude in the background of the thing. It's weird, right? Like, I don't know. Like, it, it makes me feel the same way when I try to watch Disney's Pinocchio on Disney Plus and Tom Hanks plays fucking Geppetto. And I'm like, that's Tom Hanks. Sure. You can't fool me. That's not <laughs> that a nice sense. German yeah. little guy. That's Tom Hanks, the actor from America. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah. That's why people, like, I guess Ed Sheeran, people think he looks kind of, like, not that hot or something like that. Which is, like, something he always talks about in interviews. Well, but, like, whatever, like, dude. He fucking writes songs that sound like Shakira. Like, what do we want from this guy? Yeah, I've never really understood the... I'm not a hater. Yeah, just let people live their lives, man. I don't fucking get it. He seems like a chill enough dude. That sounds like Yoshi. Straight up. It sounds up. like a toddler trying to get your attention. Hey, hey, hey. I run huh? a show. I'm doing a performance. Gold? Oh, wow. Is this gold? Like melted gold? Yeah. The Hercules level. This is like that Super Mario World level with the like little dragon. That's like... <laughs> 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 yeah. 
You know that dragon. The Blarg. He's like. This is literally your brother's pretenders. I was so let down by real world lava. <laughs> what did you want it to do? What do you mean? Man? Hold on. What did you want it to do that it didn't do? I just come out and attack me. I just saw a lot. thought there'd be like a beast. I wanted to be lava. like a slime from Ghostbusters 2. Wait, what did you want? It has Tim? a personality. Yeah. I just thought it was like all hot and flowy and viscous all the time, but it like mostly cools and slows yeah. down real fast. Once it gets outside, life. yeah, it's yeah, uh -huh. yeah. No, it's not even yeah, dangerous. You want, you want magma, not lava. Yeah, yeah. Magma, liquid magma. magma. Gotcha, bitch. Hot dog gymnastics. Liquid gymnastics. <laughs> I want them rings. When I do, when I say frings, are you guys like, yeah, I know what that is? French fries and onion rings in the basket. Yeah, yeah. I had nothing. That's not like, to me, that's like uh, one of those universal things. Like, well, uh, this might be it, guys. Like a like a patty melt, where it's like at many places. But I wasn't sure. Mm -hmm. Frings. I think a lot more places have them that than those Don't. that call it that. Like, I think they exist, but not every place calls them. Free, frings. Yeah, frings specifically means half fries have onion rings in one basket. Sure. In my mind. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, are we about oh. to fight the dude from Mega Man X right now? It's Mega Man Gundam. X3? A Gundam. We ain't got no. Hey, there's this part in uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens, just in case you guys want to know this. Uh, when they're in that bar that's like, do, 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 da, da, da. Okay. And there's like, it's like a very, it's a part that like echoes a part in A New Hope where the spy like tells the new, the first order that they see the heroes and that they should come get them, okay. right? Uh, but she's speaking in a tongue that's not English and uh, she just like pulls out her walkie talkie, I swear to God, and she just goes, a Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she sees, man. She straight up, she straight up just opens her radio and she's like, a Gundam. Not so, just any mobile suit. Yeah, so uh, it's like the guy called her and is like, is it a Gundam? Yeah, a Gundam. A Gundam. <laughs> Confirm. Was it a Gundam? It's made of Gundanium. Gundam. It's made of Gundanium. Gundam. I didn't make that up. Was is, it what we thought? It is what I think it is. Is that real? Yeah, the Gundams are made of Gundanium alloy, at least from what I remember. Gundanium? It should be called Gundumium. Should be called gum gummium. It <laughs> should be called gum drumium. Bitch. Come on, sniper. Fang sniper. Beating this uh, stage without dying and getting a gold ending is not fun. Yeah, I imagine so. But you're not trying to do that right now. No, I already yeah, did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. I did it right now. All right, sniper. Good eye then. Good day, sniper. Is, is good day like Aloha, where it works coming and going? I don't know. That's a good question. We'll question of the day for Australians. You should definitely ask someone. Only reply if you're Australian. Yeah, don't fucking speak for Australians. Good day. And is I know it? you might know the answer even if you're not Australian. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. We just want to hear from the real deal Australians. Good day. And if you're Kiwi, I don't want to hear from you yeah. either. I'm no, sorry. that's you might have different rules. Good day. Is it like Aloha? Can it be used coming and going? That's all I want to know. Oh, get bodied. Give us our shit back. No, stop! Come on, you you oh, oh, right between them. Oh! Oh, she's a Trojan. What the fuck is she? Some kind of lizard? Wait, what is? I don't know. Oh, oh. oh. she's a dragon. Dude. Okay, so spoilers <laughs> over. Whoa. So she. So what? this is the new character. What is she? She's a so so. Full context, I'm not 100% sure. I think if you don't have the Chaos Emeralds, this is another boss fight. Like, this does not occur? Yeah. Really? Because the Chaos Emeralds are optional. As always. S so she's a dragon girl. Yeah. Cool. She takes your emeralds. She uses her powers. Amy Rose finally has a friend of her own gender, so she doesn't have to be defined by her love for Sonic. These are our friends. Right? 
The oh, Bechdel test. Now this game can pass the Bechdel huh, test. Yeah. Huh. They talk about yeah, stuff other like than Sonic. Yeah, they fun. go, um, do you like bread? And they go, yes, yes, I do. <laughs> we like chili dogs. <laughs> and then Allison Bechdel comes down and shakes the hands of Yuji Naka in jail. And uh, <laughs> there's a photo taken. Guys, welcome oh, to Cyber Station. Shit. Oh, shit. Cyber Station 2077. Next, next time on Beer Bros. This is exactly what we were talking about. Getting pulled into yeah. I didn't, Tron. I didn't want to ruin it. 3 d game here. I'm so proud of you for not saying anything. That's yeah. lit. I wanted you guys to have that genuine reaction. This is my favorite stage Yo, so Yo, digital ranks. This is this is a win. This is a big win. Digital I, I'm, style. I'm, uh, before we call it, I just wanted to see. Yeah, here we go. Oh, oh Minecraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, go back to the yeah. left. Voxel Nick. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, he's changing. Changes. Yeah, hell yeah, David Bowie. All right, guys. Next time on Beer Bros, we go Pixel Down Dog. Yoga. Pixel Downward Dog is what I was going. Yoga. Dog. See you guys soon. Thanks, all. Bye. Bye.